On this leg of my road trip, I'm rolling through the Sichuan province, the gateway to the Tibetan Plateau. Located in southwest China, Sichuan province, roughly translated as heavenly state, is a diverse landscape of flat, fertile plains to the east and steep, rugged mountains to the west. Smack dab in the center of the province is the capital city of Chengdu. It's a bustling city situated on the edge of the Sichuan Basin. The patchwork of farm fields stretching out as far as the eye can see. The area reminds me of the fertile valleys back home. So it's no wonder they call this place the land of abundance. The city is over 2400 years old, with an ancient reputation for fine textiles and embroideries. Sichuan province is home to more than 80 million people. Probably its most famous resident is a ball of black and white fur known as the giant panda. But there are no city dwellers. They live in the higher elevations, which is where I'm headed. I've ditched the Harley in favor of a pair of size 16 hiking boots. So I've been invited by Director Bo here to take part in a field survey, the fourth ever census, right? Mm -hmm. For the wild giant panda. Yes. People all over the world know this animal and love this animal. Superstar, in fact. Yeah, superstar. So. <laughs> it's an iconic symbol of yes, China, yes. for sure. Right? So they're losing yes. their habitat. Director Bo yeah, and a handful of well, dedicated well, volunteers uh, are attempting to get a head count on these uh, cuddly creatures. Yes, yes. Well, I'll let you get started. I'll follow you. OK. OK. This is no walk in the park. Off of wet, slippery right there. Pandas like being up high. As high as 11,000 feet above sea level in these damp mountain forests. I'm thinking we have got to be close. Oh, it's uh, about half away to the first study area. Here. Halfway? Halfway. So, how come I'm sweating and you're not? <laughs> what, is that? what does that say? <laughs> Part of the survey here is to get a better sense of the giant panda's diet. This is the first sample site for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is he doing here exactly? The panda may be... Director Bo explains the, this includes come collecting here. scat. And there's more to panda poop than meets the eye. Good thing I didn't step in it. The panda is mostly uh, fighting on the bamboo. So the bamboo is the one of the most important factors for the pandas. Is the panda's diet strictly 100% bamboo? Even the dead animal. OK, so they, they will are. eat some meat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although pandas are omnivores, the scat collected suggests a mostly vegetarian diet for these bears. A panda spends 16 hours a day eating bamboo. It has to, because the bamboo is so low in nutrients. A panda consumes nearly 30 pounds of stocky plant in one city. I'm getting into just from just thinking about that. Whoo! All right. <laughs> They're like, check out the new guy. Wow, this is beautiful up here. That's some view. DNA samples are also taken from the scat so they can match it up to known bears. The last census 10 years ago revealed 1,596 pandas, with about 80% of them living right here in Sichuan province. At the top of the ridge is where I catch up to researcher and volunteer Jiu Jian. He explains me, the plight of the, the panda uh, human has a lot to do with the like loss of habitat. Let's go back maybe a hundred years. Yeah, the population of China have been doubled since then. And that population growth and the encroachment on the panda territory, that's a conservation issue, right, that you yes. have to deal with. Yes, we cannot move the people out now because they're already here. Right. And now it's their hometown also. So we have tried to find a balance between their requirement for developing and also the need for us to preserve this place for our next generation. And that's not an easy task. Yeah, it's a very tough job. Yeah. Very tough. 
This is a two-year survey, so it's too early to tell if the panda is thriving, just getting by, or remains on the endangered species list. One thing that's obvious to me in the conservation of the wild panda means a lot to these volunteers and to Director Bo. It takes a lot of work, a lot of commitment, a lot of passion. The credit goes to these guys for working so hard. <laughs>